Are you looking for a luxury lifestyle with a walking distance to Santana Row, which is one of the best shopping, dining and entertainment in the West San Jose? Watch this video and I'll take you on a walkthrough at the brand new construction in a close proximity to Santana Row. Enjoy the perks of being central, conveniently located in the heart of West San Jose, commute to the major tech companies across the Silicon Valley, 10 minutes away from San Jose International Airport, and quick access to 280, 85, 880, 17, 87, and 101. So now what you can see in front of you, it's a map where the central project is located. Here's a side map of the whole development. Here's nearby shops. Here's nearby schools. Here's the total amount of all homes that are coming into Central, which will consist of 320 residential homes built by Pulte that will be for sale, and 366 apartment homes being built by Hanover, which will be for rent. There's a side map of, of the future Central Park. The park is not there yet, but it will come. Here's how the homes will be looking from the outside. All right, so the building that you see right there is an example of gateway community. Those are condos. And those condos are pretty unique because each of them have their own private garage. So literally, you're just parking in, in your garage, you close the door, you're going into foyer, you call for the elevator and you go directly to your home. That is pretty unique and it is pretty awesome. Here's the rendering of Central Plaza. Those are townhome style condos, which will be interlocking units. The side map for plazas. And here's the side map for Central Avenues, which is not for sale just yet. Here's a rendering of Hanover Apartment. And by the way, Hanover Apartments will be facing the highway. I got a lot of questions because people who are familiar with Santana Row location, they understand that there is highway close by. So the building that is facing highway will be Hanover apartment homes, not the Polder homes. And taking consideration this is a new technology, it's a brand new development, the noise level will be much less compared to any older building constructions. So if you're someone who is living by the highway right now and experiencing the noise level, in a new development, that noise level will be much, much more lower. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> my hair. Woo. Right behind my back, there is a pool to homes that will include condos and townhomes for sale. By the way, they already started their sales and I got one of my buyers under contract, so my buyer became one of the first homeowners on this beautiful condo. If you are curious about the pricing, just text me price to my phone number 415-216-5697 and I will get back to you as soon as possible. On my right hand side, there's also a brand new construction, but those will not be for sale. Those will be for rent and total there is will be 366 new apartments. We uh, secured the home in Gateway community. Uh, we secured a home plan three. If someone is interested, I can specifically t talk to you about the details and how we were able to secure the home from multiple offers from tremendous amount of competition. By the time when we were making an offer, there was 300 people on the waiting list. So as you can imagine, the competition was pretty significant. So the, from the first release, the delivery time was July, August, September. I just wanna highlight that the builder usually give you some time. They don't give you a specific date. Sometimes they may give you a specific month, but usually they wanna play on a safer side and they just give you one or two or three months because a lot of things does not depend on the builder in terms of the delivery on a home right there's so so many steps that has to be passed in order for the home to receive the certificate of occupancy and sometimes delay may occur not on the builder side but because of the city delays here i would like to introduce you to the plan one which is gateway uh, community home site 24 
that will be two bedrooms two bathrooms this will be one of the smallest plants that community has 13 13 square feet one car garage that is the location of this unit in the building just want to highlight one more time that you do have a private garage this is exact finishes this is, that will be in the plan one for this specific home site but this one is already sold by the time we are having this video however it gives you an idea what kind of, of the selection that Pulte Homes has to offer what kind of designs what kind of uh, color schemes and this gives you an idea in, in terms of the pricing so the smallest square footage in gateway communities is listed at 1.213 Again, this is just a listing price. We don't know for how much this unit was sold, but what I can tell you for sure that we uh, made an offer for Plan 3 and Plan 3 went substantially, substantially higher over the listing price. Here's all the specs, which is in a home. Each of those buildings, they have their own private deck. There's only 12 homes per building and all those homeowners have their access to the private rooftop. Here's the plan two, 1345 square feet, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car garage. Here we see that there's two car garage, but it's tandem. All the garages in Gateway Community are tandem garages. Tandem garages, that means that you have to make arrangements with your partners. So one car parks in front of the other car. Okay, this one is asking 1.240. And here we can see the selections that were done in this specific home site 21. Plan 3, this one that I got for my client, one of the best floor plans that they have. This one is three bedroom, very spacious, very bright home, nice layout. I mean, I personally also love it. Uh, I would see myself totally living in this home. Two car garage right here. Here are the selections uh, in real life. I've been inside of those homes. In real life, those selections look even better. This is just a picture. Obviously, I don't expect you to buy a home by looking at the pictures. We'll definitely, if you're interested, we, we definitely have to schedule a tour and we have to go, we have to go on the construction site and take a look. This one, plan four, was the most, the most desirable floor plan, plan. Just because for a simple thing, the location of this home, I just want to show you one more time. Do you see this deck? So this deck was facing the future park. There's no park yet, the central park that I was referring before, there's no park yet. But in the future, when the park will come, from the balcony, you will see the park. And I think that kind of attracts a lot of buyers. Also, that selection was beautiful and it has white cabinets and statistically, most buyers prefer white cabinets and white cabinets and light colors in the home usually make it seem a little bit more spacious. So I think that was one of the reasons why that home was super desirable and had a lot of demand. Okay, so then I have some more information about the plazas. We have plan one, plan two, plan three. I don't want to take much of your time on this video. Um, if you are interested in plazas, shoot me email or the best way to reach out to me is always the phone. So I'm staying right now at the parking lot that is right next to the Winchester Mystery House. By the way, the commercial building is supposed to be here in the future. The land is already sold. Which commercial building I have no knowledge of, but I know that this land is sold for the commercial purposes. And the reason why I cannot go at the construction site at this very moment, because the construction is still going. However, if you're interested in this community, I can set up a private hard head tour on a construction site for you. So if you're interested, let me know. Gateway Community will have 72 elevator flats composed of six buildings, 12 homes each. Plaza will have 90 interlocking flats and townhome style condos composed of 11 buildings, six or nine homes each. Avenues, those are not for sale just yet, but it will have 158 townhome style condos composed of 13 buildings, 10, 12 and 14 homes each. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that was helpful for anybody who is looking for a luxury lifestyle in West San Jose. By the way, do you guys know what that round building is? That's an old movie theater. 
There was plenty of them long time ago, but not anymore. The city actually wants to keep it and hopefully to make a museum out of it. So we'll see if that will happen. Thank you again for watching. Lana Miles, 415-216-5697. Looking forward to getting you into your new home.